it's Christy with Designs for a Diva. And in today's video, we are going to discuss five things that anyone wanting to purchase a manufactured home needs to know. Now, before I get started, I do want to say that you may see me looking down, but I have my iPad here because I want to make sure that I cover all points. So the first thing you need to know when purchasing a manufactured home is that you have to have a plan. So there are several questions that you may ask yourself. Where's it going? Does my family or friend have land that I could use or that I could purchase? Do I want to put the home in a trailer park or mobile home community? How much do I want to spend on the land? Where, how fast do I want to move in? And will I need a land home package? These are all things that you want to consider. It's so important to have a plan in place before you even begin your purchasing journey. Now, you might have a family member or a friend that has land that you can have or that they want to give to you to place your manufactured home on. Or maybe you, you've you already had land. You know, I've had land that was aired to me all of my life. So some things that you want to consider with the land. Number one, if you already have land, if it was gifted to you or whether you own it, you will have to show proof of where you got that land from. So make sure you put that as a part of your plan. Number two, if you are going to do a land home package, then how will you purchase the land? Will you need a realtor? Do you already know where the land is? There are all kinds of questions that may come to mind when thinking about the land, but it's really important to have a plan, not just for the land, but for the home. We'll get into that in a moment. The next thing that you want to consider before you purchase a manufactured home is down payment. Now, why is this important? It's important because there are several ways to make a down payment, okay? You, may, you can use cash. You may have cash of your own. You may borrow cash for your down payment. A family member or friend may gift that cash to you. Also, some lenders will accept land as the down payment. If your lender is willing to accept land, how much is the land worth? See, these are questions that you want to have the answers to before you purchase the manufactured home. Even in using 401k, you have to verify whether it's 401k, whether it's a family member or friend who gave you the money, just like with the land, you have to verify or have documentation of where the money came from. For instance, if you use 401k, you may want to take a screenshot of the transaction of you borrowing or withdrawing the money that you need for the down payment. If a family member or friend gifted you with a check, you'll want to screenshot the your bank account activity with the check that was deposited into your account or if you had the money in the savings, you're going to have to show proof of where that down payment came from. Now, number three, are you pre-qualified? So important, this is so important. You need to know how much you will get approved for. A lot of manufactured home websites will allow you to get pre-qualified online. You can also go into your manufactured home establishment and apply for the loan. But before you start the journey, it's good to know how much you've gotten approved for. And I took some notes, I don't wanna forget this. How much you get approved for is based on your credit. It tells you how much you'll need, what your interest rate is going to be, how long is the term of your loan? And so you want to be sure that you fill out the application and answer all of those questions. Getting pre-qualified first 
will give you a much better home buying experience. When you know how much you're able to spend, you can make a decision on how much the land will be if you're doing a land home package, how much the home will be, because there are gonna be other costs associated with setup and delivery and steps and decks and all of those things that you'll need in addition to purchasing the home. Now, two things I wanna say about that. The first thing is the manufactured home uh, company that you purchase the home for will take care of all of those things I listed. Set up delivery, steps, decks, bricks, plumbing, electrical, etc. They'll take care of it, but it's not free. It's at a cost. So whatever the cost of the home is, isn't going to be your total cost. Now I'll go into that in more detail in another video. I'll link that video up here in the iCards so that you can review that video and see all of the uh, items that are covered in delivering and setting up your home. Now, you'll wanna know exactly how much you have for laying the house, those extras, even if you wanna do upgrades, right? Cause you can do upgrades. Now, if you're looking at my other, a lot of my other videos, you'll see my home. And we didn't get a lot of those upgrades. We purchased a model home. But you can upgrade just about anything in the home. I have black appliances. If you want stainless steel, if you want white, if you want them to provide your washer and dryer, if you want to upgrade the floors from laminate to hardwood, take out the carpet and do hardwood with all the way in. If you don't want the standard countertops and you rather have granite or quartz or whatever your heart's desire can be done in your manufactured home, you can custom build your manufactured home from the ground up. You can decide what color it's gonna be, what color your shutters are gonna be, uh, what color your roof is gonna be. If you're not paying out of pocket for those items, what you can afford will, determine, will be determined by your credit, your income, and your down payment. So keep that in mind. So, so far we've discussed three. Have a plan, have a down payment, get pre-qualified. Now, once you've done all three of those things, that will take me to number four. Number four is find your home. Going back to the Manufacture Home website, and I purchased, my husband and I purchased our home through Clayton Homes. And so I'm gonna put here uh, just a screenshot of how we search for a home online. A lot of manufactured homes have the same option. Clayton Homes has the option to go online, visit the homes from the comfort of your home. They even have the virtual view so that you can walk through every room of the house and determine which what you're looking for in a home. And so in finding your home in this day and age, Use the websites. Have an idea of what you're looking for. I went in with names. I like the bur Burdock. I like the Farmhouse. I like Lulabelle. I like, there were a lot of ones. I knew names. I knew what I was talking about when I went into the home. It makes for a much easier home buying experience. Not only you, but for the salesman. When you throw out the names of homes or have a list of the names of homes that you're interested in, now the salesman knows what you like, right? It also gives, even if you don't find that perfect home online, we knew that we wanted double sinks in the master bath, we wanted an island, we wanted a three bath, bedroom, three bedroom, two bath. You have an idea, we wanted an open floor concept, floor plan, we knew exactly what we wanted. We even knew around the square footage that we needed because we devised a plan and we put it into action. So it's so important that you make sure that you find the home that you and your that will serve you and your family. You want to be a part of this process completely. You don't want to walk into a manufactured home business and not have an idea of what you need. The fifth thing that you'll need to consider before purchasing a home 
has to do with delivery, setup, and after delivery. You want to be a part of the process. Now, I wasn't able to be a part of every single step of the process. I get it. You may not be able to as well. But my husband was because his schedule is more flexible than mine. We were a part of the entire process and we worked as a team. Sometimes we were there able to be there together. Sometimes it was just my husband. But we were there when they delivered the home. We were there when the plumbers came out, when the electrical guys came out, when the inside trim work, all of the things that got done, the brickwork, everything. We were a part of the process. Now, why is that important? For us, it was just important, period, to be there. But we discovered that it really was important because there's an after delivery process as well. Now with Clayton Homes, they have what's called an after delivery walk. So they come out after, after we had been in the home about a month. They reached out to me and if you've seen uh, the two videos that talk about Clayton Holmes and Greg and how awesome they were, I'll link those here. You'll know that they contacted me to say, hey, Miss Vaughn, is there anything that you notice that needed to be fixed? Why don't you walk through the house and see any and everything that you want me to take a look at? I'm going to come out and fix everything on your list. And that's what I did. My husband and I took a look at every room and there were some things that we had already noticed but we were able to put a list together send some pictures so he knew exactly what he needed to bring to make the repairs and he came out for our after delivery walkthrough and every single item on that list was complete now it took two visits because he had to get more he had to purchase um, some blinds uh, repair a window and and someone else came with him the second time to fix the door now you might be saying wow they had to do all that this home was purchased in Opelika Alabama and delivered by highway through Georgia to where we live now so it came quite a long way and in that travel there may be some things where your home may not come that far but your home is being driven to where it's gonna be set up. So there may be some things that are shaking. Um, however, they came out and fixed all of that. They brought new panels for the wall. They sealed in molding that had come a loose. They um, fixed the light that had shaken a loose. There was even a creak in the floor when you walked across it. He went under the house and made whatever adjustments and we no longer have a creak in the floor. The manufactured home will do that as a part of the process. So it's real important to be a part of the delivery, setup and delivery and after delivery walkthrough because when you're there, here's another thing, when you're there in the delivery and, and, and you go through all the setup processes or you, review the house after it's done if you can't be there then you notice things that need to be tweaked or fixed or repaired you can make yourself a list beforehand also when you're a part of the after delivery setup process then you can walk through each room with them and maybe maybe things that you didn't notice before that you noticed during that time and you can point them out and say hey i see that is it supposed to be like that i'd rather it look like this that is certainly your right as a part of the process. So we've talked about five things. Have a plan. What's your down payment going to be? Are you pre-qualified? What is your home going to look like? Set up delivery and after delivery. So important that you have those things in mind before you purchase a manufacturer.